It's time once again for another thrilling and inspiring season of Force on Force. The military, the honor, the fish. Welcome to season eight. Look at that fish! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, no. Get on the gear! Get on your foot! Oh, are you kidding me right now? Off. Air Force! You lose Air Force! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Boom, lady! <laughs> that's what I'm talking about! Well, that's what I'm talking about! Boom! This is Force on Force, a bracket-style tournament featuring the branches of our military head-to-head -head on the water. Each event is a four-hour matchup. This compressed competition forces the anglers to adapt and overcome quickly. Commanding Officer Cody Robertson issues the rules of engagement for each competition in the TOC, the Tactical Operations Center. The anglers fight for bragging rights and also to raise money and awareness for the military nonprofits. Support, defend, fish. The site for this year's tournament is Lake Holbrook in East Texas. Here are your competitors for this semifinal matchup. Alpha Team pairs up the pride of the Air Force, Steve Jarrett, and Army Bass Angler, Thomas Learned, against a Bravo Team of Marine Bass Angler, Richard Faulkner, and Army Bass Angler, Vinnie Reynolds. Oh yeah, you guys finally showed up. I don't know why. Happy birthday, Marine, yeah, but you're going birthday. down. Yeah, you're going home today. You gotta get a birthday present. You're gonna present. represent the Corps, boys. You guys are gonna have to just go home. Your birthday present's gonna be going home early, brother. Is that right? Yes, yeah, man. It is. Hey, we're gonna, we're gonna show you how it's done today, boys. Yeah, 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 it's all right. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, guys. Good, good, good luck. Good luck. Good hey, you guys will be able to go sit in your warm truck here in a little all bit. Right, yeah, yeah, going yeah, down, yeah, going down, man. All right, yeah, man. Bring, yeah, it in, yeah, bring it in, bring it in. Hey, we're gonna send you home. Welcome back to Force on Force, the semifinals. Congratulations, you've eliminated one team to get to this round. So let's jump right into the rules of engagement. Oh. Oh. Rules of engagement for this operation, your basic load has now doubled. Eliminating the other team, you get all their equipment, you get to use it in the next round of competition. Four hours has not changed. Five fish limit, 12 inches. Must be 12 inches in order for it to count. And safety, just be safe out there. We've got a beautiful day. It's really cold, but we don't have the same wind conditions and temperatures that we had in the previous round. So good luck out there. Bring it in for your G2 Intelligence Lake Report. Here is your G2 Lake Intelligence Report. Lake Holbrook has lots of wind from previous rounds, but replaced it with a big drop in temperatures. A big cold front showed up this morning for the semifinal round. The day will start out at 34 degrees on its way up to 50. The test for today's anglers, light winds and a falling barometer. You guys have any questions at this time? No, no sir. Y'all have any questions at this time? No, yes, sir. All right, great. Shake hands, move out, draw fire, and let's fish. Whoa. All right, here we go. Bye bye. <laughs> Going home. Stay <laughs> putting poles up. Hold, hold, hold. What? Hold. <laughs> yeah, I see how your day's going. Oh, it's already started. It's already started. All right, all right. Woo. Yes, sir, that was a bit cold. It's cold out. There's no, the wind's pretty calm. But we're gonna stick with the, the game plan that we came up with last night and we're gonna follow through with that and get ourselves on some fish and take that ring home with us. Oh, there's fish down there, I just got hit. There's a thump. Steal to me, buddy. You 
big enough? No. You want to take that trophy off for me? No, sir. You can go right ahead. I want you to touch Hey, you know fish. what? The skunk's out. Skunk's out. Skunk's <laughs> out. <laughs> touch a fish. That's all I want you to do. Hey, little guy. Tell mommy to come see me. Heading across the lake, Alpha Team is also adjusting to the cold weather conditions. I'm using a Strike King uh, jerk bait, the 300. Nice long jerk bait, that's good action. The idea is uh, with the water being cold, they might want a jerk bait, I don't know, we'll see. And I'm using a Strike King 7 inch thumper worm on a Carolina rig, short leader. With the cold front coming in yesterday, and fishing into the front, um, the water temperature dropped a little bit. So I think that's gonna, you know, they're cold-blooded creatures and the, their metabolism slows down, they slow down. When the temperature goes down, it gotta slow down. Force on Force is brought to you by Skeeter Boats, by Luz, by Biobore, and by Cryptech. Commanding Officer Lieutenant Colonel Cody Robertson always likes to have some surprises for the anglers. And in the first round, it was an unknown lake. In the second round, it was also an unknown lake, kind of. You know, even this morning at breakfast, you know, they said, well, we're gonna go to a different lake. Well, they took us a different route to the same lake. So it was the whole time we're driving going, well, where the heck are we going? You know, and we're looking on our GPS and everything else, trying to figure out what lake they were possibly taking us to. And they took us back to the same lake. So that, that was cool. But it was, you know, the, the surprise factor and all that really made it a lot fun. And I think it's going to be a great show as a result of it. And I hope people enjoy watching it. Let's head back to the water where both teams are in the beginning phase of this mission and neither has a keeper. But that's about to change. If you can see on our Laurent carbon 12s, we got a lot of fish over a brush pile and you can tell that they're feeding because they're streaking across the screen. We just got to figure out how to get them to bite. We got one. Ooh, good fish. Yeah. We got one and a quarter. So now Bravo team is on the scoreboard and on a day like today with the meager results from the other semifinal round, each ounce is precious weight. I'm Vinnie Reynolds. I'm a coalition pro staff member here at Army Bass Anglers. Um, I did six years in the United States Army as an infantryman. I was, I was, I was a lifer. Um, I did two deployments, one in Iraq, one in Afghanistan. And uh, my last tour to Afghanistan ended a little abruptly. I re-enlisted two months before I got blown up by an IED on a dismounted patrol. I was a below knee amputee. You know, it was kind of one of those things where my family was really worried about me. And I mean, it was rough. But for my family, I knew I had to stay strong. And, you know, seeing some of the stuff and doing some of the things you do over there, you know, m missing a leg is definitely, you know, a, a paper cut, as, as we would call it in the military. Missing, a, missing one leg below knee is a paper cut. So I tried to stay as optimistic about everything as possible. You know, it definitely has its days. But, you know, I've made some real good friends here at Army Bass Anglers. And, you know, whenever I do have a bad day, I just shoot them a text or give them a call or, you know, if I don't talk to them for a couple days, they call me. Sometimes that's annoying. But, you know, they're, they're, they're the best group of guys that, I, that I've had the chance to have, uh, be a part of. You know, I've made some friends outside the military, but I haven't made any other brothers other than, you know, my, my brothers that I met made in arms until I was able to join this organization. And, you know, it, it's, it's pulled me through some of the darker days that I've had. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Okay. Good Just job. stay there. There you go. 
Oh yeah, he's 13 and a half. All right, good job, partner. No? 127. 127. Good job, partner. Get this guy back in here so he can grow up and be a big girl next time. Come on. You ready? Do a little dance. In the boat. Coming in. That's a little bigger fish. Yes, it is. That one will work. There. Let's just leave those out now that we're catching fish. These fish grips are really great. For, they grab a hole and they don't let go at all. Real good for fresh water or salt water. Just throw it in there and clamp it down. That fish ain't going anywhere. You can sit there and pull the hooks out and do whatever you got to do with them. That's the bait we're using right there. 1.5 square bill. This is a baby bass color. 1.8, yeah. 1.80. 1.80. All right. Force on Force is brought to you by Wiley X, by Lawrence, by All Seasons Feeders, and by The Fish Grip. Of course, my rock is really my wife. I've been married for 41 years. And um, Cindy and I have been through a lot, ups and downs over the years. We have Veterans Day. We have, you know, we always thank you, thank you for your service. We need to thank the, the wives and the dependent children for their service too. Because they're the ones that got uprooted all their lives, could never, you know, keep a career, could never go to the same. I went to five different high schools as a military dependent. My daughter went to four different high schools as a military dependent. So that's tough on, you know, on people's lives and stuff. So thank the dependents and thank the spouses too whenever you're thanking the military people. The first word in the Army Bass Angler motto is support. And what Steve Jarrett said right there is a big part of that. The next word is defend, which Jarrett and fishing partner Thomas Learned also own 42 years of service in our military between them. The last word, fish. Let's get back to the water. Alpha Team owns two keepers and a small lead in this four hour tournament, which is over the halfway mark. So Bravo gets on the board again with this keeper from Army Bass Angler, Vinnie Reynolds. At a one three zero on that one. Whoa! Number two. Both teams now have two keepers, but Vinnie and Richard Faulkner still trail the lead by a weight of three quarters of a pound. So back to work they go. Just sh shake your head, that's all. Shake your head in the right way. I got him. Go fishing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Throw it in the water for you. You reeled it up right there. Oh, that's funny. What? Nothing. We measure him. I don't want to stick. Yeah. Fish, dude. Get that worm back out there. Okay, 12 inches. 1.5. I think it's kind of neat that they filmed this show during Veterans Day weekend, too. <laughs> the guys that uh, missed out on the last round are in the local Veterans Day parade today with one of our boats. Just kind of giving back to the community a little bit, getting honored by the community. One of our greatest patriotic duties is to remember. And while producing this season of Force on Force, we were in the right place at the right time.
to join the city of Emory, Texas for its annual Veterans Day Parade. Each team, which was not still fishing in the tournament, came out to represent the Army, Navy, Marine, Air Force, and Coast Guard bass anglers. The city welcomed the teams and vice versa. Meanwhile, back on the water, the teams still in it have some branch pride for the other teams still remaining. And today's uh, Marine Corps' birthday, November 10th, and we're fishing against the one and only Marine left in the competition. So, sorry, you're gonna lose today for your birthday. We will see if Air Force earns that guarantee when Force on Force returns for the after action review and the final team gaining access to the national championship. Force on Force is brought to you by Strike King, by Certified Arkansas Bait Fish, by Dermatome, by Grease Monkey, and by Hero Clean. The anglers of Force on Force are using artificial bait for this tournament. But in past seasons when we've had kids on, we've used the certified Arkansas bait fish. And what makes the certified Arkansas bait fish great is it's a wonderful way to introduce kids to fishing in a way that makes it fun and effective and it'll keep them coming back. Healthy, hearty, and safe, certified Arkansas bait fish. Yeah, those are notes from my wife. Um, we've been married 41 years now and she has um, a disease called lupus, which uh, affects various organs in the body. And one of the organs it affects is the skin. So unfortunately, she can't get out in the sun. And uh, so she can't necessarily enjoy fishing or boat riding as much as I do. But she still supports me and supports what I do for the Army Bass Angling Organization and, and for our charities, and I appreciate her supporting me in this effort. Welcome back to the final moments of the Force on Force semifinals. Now, Alpha Team jumped on board early in this competition and held the lead for most of the round. But Bravo was on a roll and not looking back. You stud, you. Stud! One, 1.23. 1 1.23. Yeah, one point what, two, three? Yeah, 1.23. Meanwhile, across the lake, Alpha Team got a not quite big enough bite. But it just means somebody's still here. All right, buddy, I'm trying not to hurt you here. Come on. There you go. All right, where's your grandma? I wanna see your grandma, whoops. <laughs> go. And just like that, the four hours is nearly expired, and it's time to head back to the talk for the after action review. Boy, you better I, hope you got, I hope you got them. You better caught them, brother. I hope you got some big ones yep. on that boat. Yep. We got hope some. you got some big ones on that boat. We got some today. Doesn't look like you're fishing the next round. That's all right. Keep talking. Keep yeah, talking. Yeah, hear you're you. old and senile. I am old, but I ain't senile. I can, I can still catch fish. <laughs> Yeah. All right, come on in, ground, bring your pile board basic here. loads, place them on the table. Congratulations. You knocked out your previous opponent to get to the semifinals, and here we are. The potential for your name to be on this trophy forever in national championship NFL size championship rings are on the line. Oh. All right, with that said, the weather has changed. It's gone completely different from the earlier rounds to this round. So obviously the fishing patterns have changed and we're gonna lead it off with Steve Jarrett and your team. Give us your after action review. Well, we uh, tried to go to the place we went to previous rounds, catch fish, but uh, I think the bluebird skies and all that kind of shut them down in that area. So we found new water and uh, we caught a few fish first thing this morning. Caught a couple shorts, but we ended up with two fish for 3.07. All right, gentlemen, 3.7. Let's hear their after action review from the Army and the Marines. But before we do that, happy birthday to the Marine Corps and happy birthday to you, Seymour. Hool. Hool. All right, good deal. With that said, give us your after action review. Let's see if you move on to the next round. Well, as everybody knows, this morning was brutally cold. 
It was a fight just to keep your fingers to work. However, we did reach a few fish on a few points. We did get some of them to cooperate. So we did, we did catch a limit of five fish today. Five fish on your birthday and the Marine's birthday. Except All right, five. so we got five fish. We already know we got you beat on that end. What's the weight, Vinny? 6.11 pounds. 6.11, oh, yeah. congratulations. Yeah, yeah, boy. You're moving oh, yeah. on to the next yeah, round, the championship. Yeah, right. All Thank this viable basic yeah. items. <laughs> Shake hands, yeah. grab your basic load, and get out of my top. Oh, yes, sir. Congratulations. Yeah. This morning, it was uh, 34 degrees, and uh, bluebird skies, the wind was still blowing. I mean, I'm from central Florida. I came from 88 degrees and came down here and I had to, you know, find extra clothes and, and everything else. And we went out and we caught two fish fairly early. Um, so we thought it was gonna be a pretty good day, but we just never could find any more after that. We found one, you know, short fish after that. Wait, you never have enough. You know, we could have caught five five pounders and still came in there nervous. You know, you, you always think that your opponents catching as many fish as you yep. and bigger fish than you. Yep. There's, there's just never enough and yep. never big enough. You just can't slow down. You just, you just gotta go full bore the whole time. As soon as you start to slow down, it lets your opponent gain ground. So you just go as hard as you can till the end. Our championship field is set. We will either get a new champion with the Marines and the Army or the defending champion will take the title for a second time. It all hits the water next time when we see who wins the eighth national championship for Force on Force. Cast and crew of Force on Force stay at the scenic 515 cabins in Yantis, Texas, right off of Lake Fork. Convenient to great fishing and hospitality that will make you want to come back again and again. Make Scenic 515 Cabins your go-to place to stay when you visit East Texas. Log on to scenic515cabins.com to book your stay. Thanks for watching Force on Force.